you guys won't believe what is on the surface of Mars. Hello everyone, this is Scott of ET Database. I actually found this back in 2016 and reported it, but I had never ever made a video of it. So you probably saw other people report it on their videos before me, but that's because I just didn't do it. It was on my post. Uh, so let's look at this a little bit closer. Okay, what we're using here is Mars Gigapan. Gigapan is where people put uh, giant, giant photos of many gigabytes onto a location so that uh, you can see it without crashing your computer. Okay, now right there is the photograph itself. Pretty amazing. And here's the information here if you want to look for it on NASA website or ESA. And the object that looks like a monkey is not too far from here. It's down, 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 right there. Okay, right here where my cursor is. It looks like a sitting monkey. Now that really shouldn't be possible. It really shouldn't be. And yet, there is a monkey right here. Why would there be a monkey sitting in one of the photographs of the Mars rover? Does that mean that the Mars rover was never on Mars in the first place? Does that mean there's life on Mars and Mars Curiosity just never wanted to report it? The, the Curiosity team, their, their job might be to hide it, to, you know, drop feed uh, the public information so that they will be appeased, that they won't demand more. Uh, just basic scientific facts every now and then could make the public happy and fund NASA with more money every year. However, this really does look like Mars to me. Uh, there are some amazing things in here besides the monkey itself. But I really want to focus on the monkey. The monkey is the most important thing. Uh, there are some ancient structures and stuff in here, uh, but this is just crazy. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to adjust the color so you can actually see the fur on it. Hold on tight. This is just a screenshot, but it's on my photo program so we can adjust the lighting more easily. Let's adjust the focus. That's the more original color. How about this? Uh, that's more original color also. Uh, but if we zoom in with the original color, you kind of see a fur on it. Let's come up here and add light to it. Let's apply. Okay, you're beginning to see the fur, the, the bulk, bulkiness of this object. It actually looks like hair. Doesn't it look like hair? This object looks like it has a lot of hair. That doesn't look like rocks to me. That looks like hair. That's just kind of crazy, isn't it? That's just really strange. Okay. Put in negative format. There it is right there. Darken a little bit. See it like that. Strange. Okay, cancel. Here it is. Zoomed out. What is this big hairy thing sitting here? It looks a lot like a monkey. Doesn't it look like a monkey? It really does. So here's a monkey, and here's a picture to compare it to. Uh, this is from an old post from 2016 when I found it. Um, but here's a monkey, and it looks just like this monkey here. This is a macaque monkey from Taiwan. They're all from Taiwan. Anything you see in Japan was stolen during World War II. Those are Taiwanese uh, monkeys. And uh, this looks like a macaque also. When you add a lot of light to it, the monkey really stands out. It really does. You can see the fur of the back and the legs and the head and a little bit of white around the edge of the head. And it looks very similar to the monkeys we have here on Earth. See how it's sitting? 
See how the white along the stomach and the leg and the area here around the head, see the white on the head? So why is there a monkey in the NASA photograph? It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? And yet, it's still there. It's still there. This is Scott C. Waring, VT Database and UFO Sightings Daily. Please like and subscribe. I'll make more videos for you very soon.